so here on this Easter weekend is my promised tour of my little tea pantry. I have a lot of teacups. There are many stacks of them. I've moved them recently. So I'm going to rearrange them. I'll also show you my teapot collection. Things that I've been given and or have inherited. Um, just a few things I would have purchased at Value Village years ago. So this isn't really arranged. We've taken a little space from our other food cupboards to um, put some foodstuffs in here. There is tea on the bottom. And I, I really particularly love those little cow milk creamers and some of the antique teapots. And I'll just sort of give you a more close up look. Here's some the little straws and containers and cupcake sleeves. My husband's type one diabetic, so I don't tend to bake a lot. Uh, this is one of my favorite teacups. And um, yeah, lots of teacups. Then we go into the kitchen and uh, sort of I'll pan a little higher here uh, and then go down lower. And you can see, there's a little bit of mess in the background, but uh, some tea pots, some of the teapot collection. And, um, and then we you know we have our pot rack, etc. So we sort of pan around at our cozy cottage in the woods. And there is the woods in the background, panning around again, so just for more food there. And then this is, was a little, oh, I just tripped over something. A little, um, um, not really a cocoa station, but there's sugar cubes, white and brown, marshmallows, chocolate sprinkles, some more things, a, a hot chocolate pot, some silver spoons, etc., and, and things to put on cocoa and and coffee. Now, we did have a bed and breakfast for quite a number of years, which we'd never mentioned before. This would have been what we call, this is a dining room, but we call it the breakfast room. And it overlooks on more wooded area and gardens. And here, I haven't actually set the table for Easter. There's just the two of us because of COVID-19. So the we haven't mentioned the name of the bed and breakfast because we don't know in the foreseeable future if we'll be even be able to open up again. So here again are little um, candies and cookies, etc. cetera. Um, and, and so I'm just gonna pan slowly around and you can see the um, little details, the yellow plates, etc. And then this is another favorite spot, which I probably have shown before which is the, um, we have put different colors in this little, I call it a shadow box uh, type of a, a um, china cabinet that my husband built. It doesn't go very deep, but it's just, we do use the pieces. So I'll just come in a little closer. There are teapots and uh, mostly gold and, no touches of gold, but predominantly white and cream. These are little cream soups. And uh, then there's little sort of cupcake stands with the gold and white polka dots, a teapot, a few vintage pieces. I think this is a butter dish or for cheese. I'm not sure which. You know, a milk pitcher in the creamware, the French cream, um, a gift from a friend little egg cozies, egg cup cozies, uh, other little pieces that uh, we would have used over the years. These are little, I think they're little salt cellars, but we've got sugar in them, and little individual creamers. And um, yeah, and these were more little salt cellars or things to put little tiny bonbons in. These are 
candied violets and napkin rings and other, uh, you know, hobnail sort of vintage cream and sugar. And I apologize if I'm a little, I, I'm a little asthmatic. And so you'll hear my slight asthma in the background. And I apologize as, as I take a breath, which indeed I must. <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm not really in any difficulty with breathing, but just thought I'd mention if in case, like now, <laughs> you know, you, you can hear. Um, yeah, but so that's that. And then in, and then there's some silver pieces. Um, and then in the drawers, I decided a few years ago, you know, this, these need to be polished. I don't really have complete sets of anything, just bits and pieces that we would have received. Uh, and then some Christmas ornaments instead of taking them all the way downstairs. Things that would be themed that I would use on a little tree in the dining room, like little cupcakes, little strawberries, little faux chocolate um, dipped strawberries. So anything we might want to use in our decor um, that it's just good to have it handy. So all of those pieces, I love to organize things. And uh, yeah, so there there are some more. Um, these are little little candles, uh, little, mm, they smell great, they smell like chocolate. And um, so yeah, that's, that's that piece, uh, you know, of furniture with things that we've stored and then looking into the kitchen. And then we come around to, the uh, entry hall is not overly large, and we go into the uh, living room. And uh, down onto the end, we've got our TV and a few other things set up there right now, because there's no guest coming for the foreseeable future. We have our original art. That's a, a there's a reflection in the, that's one of my original pieces of um, watercolor. I almost draw with watercolor paint. So that was a, a piece, and then over here, um, and then there's the upstairs, which we will show you other portions of the house. Uh, and and then that's a close-up of my also watercolor pen and ink of silver spoons. That's the original. And um, I don't know if I can get it to focus. Yeah. So then there's a lot of original art. That there's some more on the stairs that my husband has painted over here. And uh, that's a piece of furniture. The piano came from my mother's house. The overmantel came from my father's house. And um, and uh, so we had put them together years ago. And, and we... we inherited that because the rest of the movie family has moved rather <laughs> to to Ontario. So this is my husband's uh, oil painting. This is an egg tempera painting. He painted quite a few years ago. He hasn't actually painted in years. There's the fireplace. And uh, this is my favorite egg tempera painting of his, of my sister Donna in front of our grandmother Burl's dresser, which we actually have upstairs. So yeah, there's just a, uh, you know, and then panning around, we, we do have a lot of other things to share, but really I have to get those rooms ready to share. So yeah, that's, you know, the, and this is my original watercolor painting of my sister and her two little ones. The two-year-old in the picture is now 27, I believe. And the baby just turned 26. Um, so that's a watercolor painting of the house, and now they have a son who will be 17 in May, who was clearly not uh, born at the time. So that's my watercolor painting of our house, of what was the bed and breakfast. I'll just stand back and you can see that. So yeah, this is an, an, an initial introduction to our cozy cottage in the woods. Have a beautiful Easter, friends. We will share more later.